Hey guys, it's Saturday night. It's really late. I've been working on this place all day. I was ready to declare the kitchen done, but the more I saw it, the more pictures I took, I just, it kept bothering me that this side right here has like a five inch gap uh, before the end of the wall. And then this side with the refrigerator right there, it needs another five inches. So even though I knew that this is where the oven went and where that's where the fan would be, uh, at first I thought, okay, I'll change it. And then I got lazy and decided not to change it. And I built all these shelves and everything on this side. But it really, really bothers me that the refrigerator is sticking out that much. And so what I'm going to do tomorrow is before I complete everything, uh, I'm going to switch it. So that means I got to bring the electrical back over here. Got to put the refrigerator on this side. I got to move these entire uh, pantry over to the middle. Uh, and then this microwave would have to come down and go up here and that means i gotta build a new shelf because that shelf is not gonna fit over here so i just created more work for myself but uh, i think it'll pay off it'll get rid of this awkward uh space right here it's more work but i'd rather spend a day doing it now that's that it's empty than try to do it later on and have to move a bunch of stuff a lot of work still left but uh i gotta get it done asap all right guys so this is how the connection looks afterwards I forgot to take the video from before, but there was a junction box right there and then that cable went all the way around, which I'm going to remove. There was another junction box right there and uh, now this is going to convert into the microwave and outlet here. And uh, yeah, it looks good so far. Actually, I'm glad that I changed this. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in a little while. It's uh, 1.30 in the morning on Tuesday. The house is not done yet. I only have the flooring left and then little details after that. I still need to paint these right here. That's two coats and you can still see it. Well, this one's actually two coats. This one's like uh, uh, one and a half, I guess. That's gonna be first thing tomorrow. I got the flooring right there. Originally, I was gonna put tile, but I just don't, I'm just not comfortable with tile. It's vinyl, so it's waterproof. At least dur durability-wise, it's gonna be similar to tile. It's just that, um, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to put in. I'm only worried about the height of the tile and then the height of this with the mat underneath. So hopefully it's pretty close so that I can just kind of glue the middle or something. I don't know. The kitchen right here, as I mentioned earlier before, the refrigerator was here and it looked awkward. You couldn't open the drawer all the way. Now it clears it, which makes sense. I installed a little receptacle. Uh, there was a fan here and the fan was really old and broken. Uh, but it was attached to the power so I didn't have to do anything for the microwave I had shifted the whole shelf down But it looked like the refrigerator looked before where it was really awkward and the cabinets were kind of like hidden I didn't like how it looked so I literally just chopped it down the middle left that there Brought one of the shelves down as a cover for this one. I put that up there for like uh, party supplies and like paper towels and things like that. Now we have this space right here. We can put like a small island. This is the storage right here. Could have probably built something, but like I said, we're a lot short on time. We ended up spending a lot of money on this. Instead of putting a regular countertop, I just put a, a big shelf. I can't find a door that fits there. I bought that one in the, in the back, but it's 32 by 80, and the opening is 32 by 84, which in Hawaii, nobody has. So that sucks. I installed the light. I cleaned the closets and painted them. This is going to be the linen closet. Uh, this is going to be the storage closet here. Uh, I'm kind of tired, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to go back to the place we're staying and crash. All right, guys, so after two days of putting on flooring and I'm both really sore knees, I'm down to my last piece. It's a perfect four and a quarter square, which is crazy. After putting all this, this is what I end up with. So I uh, check this out. Last piece. Ta da! Perfect. Yeah. Done, done, done. We can move in now. Se me nea la cadera, la cadera, la cadera. Se me nea, se me nea la cadera, la cadera. Se me nea, se me nea la cadera, la cadera. Se me nea, se me nea la cadera. How's it going guys? It feels like I haven't talked to you from my car in a long time. I'm on my way for my last wedding of the year because we're gonna to go to Mexico for a month. Uh, so we leave early December. Uh, and then these next two weeks, I'm supposed to have army training, but I haven't confirmed for sure. I'm basically done with the house. 
uh, we should be able to move in tomorrow. Javi's gonna come over and help me uh, take the stuff out of the truck that we need. Everything that we don't need is gonna stay in the truck. Remember, we're gonna rent it out on Airbnb and online or whatever uh, while we're gone. So hopefully that's gonna pay for some of the cost of the uh, tickets because uh, they're expensive. They were $3,000 for all four of us. It's gonna be easier this time because we haven't really moved in so we can leave all our personal stuff in the truck. I mean, it's been a long journey, but uh, it's definitely been exciting, scary sometimes, uh, but uh, more, more exciting than anything. And I can't wait till we're actually traveling more than we're actually working. Hey everybody, we are about to eat our first meal at the new Waikiki house. It's almost done. I did both pants today. I'm working on the shelf right now, the shoe rack. Uh, it's not complete, I ran out of wood. Uh, but I just prepped uh, my first meal in the kitchen and uh, we're getting ready to eat. Uh, let me give you guys a really quick, fast tour and then I'll show you what we're gonna eat. So we're still working on the shoe racks, so all the shoes are on the ground for now. Uh, the couch is set up as a bed because that's where I'm sleeping. Tomorrow we get the nice table. The beds are set up for Airbnb because uh, we're leaving in a couple of weeks. Once they turn into bunk beds, this one goes up there and this whole space is open. I got the kitchen waiting on the island that's gonna go right here. They need to order the door, so I'm gonna just shut that, uh, close that down for Airbnb so they don't have, they don't have access to that uh, balcony over there. But let me show you what we're gonna eat for dinner. We got some steak. I splurged on this one today, and then we got some mixed vegetables, and that's it. Keto. Keto. On cue. Alexa, stop. No, what's up, Vlad? No. Okay. No, what's up, Vlad? A ver, habla. ¿Qué estamos comiendo? A ver, ¿qué otro es? ¿Qué otro es? ¿Qué this is nicer than the last one, huh? Yeah. Hey guys, it is Thursday night, November 29th, and I just finished clearing our old place, I guess our um, in-between house. It took me a while to get it all nice and uh, cleaned up how we got it. I'm gonna miss that view for sure, uh, but I'm also happy that uh, our house is done and now we get to live in it for a week before we go to Mexico. But yeah, this is just another part of this whole plan and thankfully this one worked out. It was nice. Uh, it actually helped us going from a 900 square foot home to a 200 square foot studio into a 600 or 550 square foot uh, house because now uh, if we would have gone for the, from the old house to the new house, it would have felt tight. But because we came here first, and had to get rid of a lot of stuff that didn't fit or couldn't, we couldn't store in the truck, that moving to that, that new house is actually bigger. And so now we realize that a lot of the stuff that we had, we didn't, we didn't use the whole three months we were here, so obviously we didn't need to have them. It definitely helped us on the minimalist side of things, and hopefully we can keep our new place nice and clean and minimalist uh, to help us for the future, so yeah. Good morning guys, it's Friday morning. I need to go do some uh, work over for the army. I wasn't really scheduled to go, but because we we're going on a training mission this weekend and I've been kind of dropping the ball on my uh, duties because of uh, this whole moving arrangement, fixing the house and everything. And so I want to go today, uh, put some extra work in to make sure that, uh, that I don't drop the ball this weekend. And yeah, yas queen. guys so uh we're sleeping out tonight and I'm super tired so i'm just gonna crash see 
How's it going guys? So I'm home. I just took a shower because I was dirty from being out in the field. I just started cooking my dinner. Uh, the girls aren't here. They're uh, hanging out with friends. Uh, so I'm by myself. All right, so at the bottom, I got some zucchini, onion, and some bacon with some beef on top. And then I'm using the uh, fat from the beef to cook some broccoli. And then I'm gonna throw that on top with some avocados and some sea salt. And that's gonna be dinner. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember, I'm on a mission to retire early and travel the world with my family. So on top of my weekly vlogs, I'm also gonna put videos on how I plan to generate money on the road, how I save money, how I become a minimalist, and anything that helps me reach that goal of early retirement. Uh, if that's something that interests you, please subscribe to this channel. Click right here to see the latest upload. Click here to see videos that relate to this video right here. Don't forget to hit the little bell so you can get notifications for whenever I upload new videos. And also, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.